Hello and welcome to Gamerversity. This is Jason Urban, president of Gamerversity, and today we are going to be checking out Spider-Man on the PS4. This is the Turf Wars DLC, the second DLC pack to be released with the Spider-Man game. The first one was the heist. It focuses on the Black Cat. The second one is Turf Wars. This one focuses on Hammerhead. And the third one is called Silver Linings, and that one focuses mainly on Silver Sable. So this is the fourth mission in the Turf Wars DLC called Last Stand. We are on our way to the mission. The mission is represented by that nice little yellow diamond off in the distance that says it's about 500 meters away. And to get there, we're just doing a nice little swing through of Central Park. Central Park is a rather large area in this open world Spider-Man experience. And we're just doing a little swing through, and uh, well, that's done by now. And, but we're still swinging through the city here, getting to our mission point. And here we go. Dons must be inside. Looks like they're safe. We're safe. Great. We're safe is right. So this, in this mission, we have to protect the Dons. The Dons are various uh, Mafia leaders throughout the city, running different sections of the city. They are all in trouble because uh, Hammerhead wants to take them out, and that's what he's trying to do right here. So we gotta save them. They might not be the people that really seem like they need to be saved, being bad guys and all. But Spider-Man saves everybody. Nobody dies when Spider-Man is around, that's for sure. Spider-Man is the man, and right now he is wearing the silver armor. The silver armor suit that is available in this DLC pack. It is a very cool suit. Very glad that we got this spider armor, the original spider armor. The, this version of the spider armor is quite the popular Spider-Man suit in uh, Spider-Man history, Spider-Man lore, because of just how different it is. Although it really only appeared in one single issue. One single issue and not even in the whole issue. Like, I don't... I'm not going off of any recent research, but I read that comic maybe about 10 years ago. And if I remember correctly, it's only about 8 to 10 pages or so that this issue actually appears. But you know what? It really lasts, left a lasting impression. And that probably had a lot to do with the really cool foil cover that was, um, that showcased the costume. And it was really cool. It was in Web of Spider-Man 100. That's right, Web of Spider-Man Web 100 published... I don't have a, the date in front of me, but it would have been... I think 1992 or 1993. So yeah, we're just kicking some ass here. Hammerheads, goons. They want to take down the Dons. We're just getting some electrocution action here, you know, some grenades that are being thrown around. And that's a really nice effect with those grenades, how um, the entire body goes red and electrified. They did a very nice job with that. In fact, they did a very nice job pretty much with this entire game. <clears throat> Of course, like I've said before, the only thing that I really do have an issue with is the um, screwball, the character screwball. 
who is pretty much just a hated character everywhere she goes. I mean, I don't know why they even continue to use her. Actually, I kind of do know why they continue to use her. She represents the uh, social media. She's a social media villain, so she kind of fills in that little that little social media villain gap that I think that they figure that the Spider-Man character needs. Although they could, and uh, a lot of social media can be pretty annoying, and um, Screwball represents that. Of course. But you know that's enough about Screwball for now. This is not a Screwball mission. We should be focusing on the Dons. And focus on the Dons. We shall. We shall protect and save the Mafia men. Gotta move fast. And to do that, we just gotta kick some ass, and that's what Spider-Man does best, just kicking ass, taking out guys with rocket launchers and energy whips and these kind of energy swords that they all got from Mr. Negative. Even though Mr. Negative uh, isn't really much of a threat at this point, he has been taken care of in the main game itself. You know what? It must be a morale breaker. That's right. These guys keep on losing against Spider-Man. It's like you see Spider-Man, you pretty much got to be ready to lose. Spider-Man will kick your ass. So yeah, we don't have a whole lot of life here, so we got to use our gadgets and gizmos. Oh, and all of a sudden we do have a lot of life. Good old down button. That's right, the down button will give us life on the directional pad, but only if we have enough in our focus meter and to get more focus meter, we need to beat up more bad guys. So to gain life, you have to beat up the bad guys. And the fancier your moves, the more focus you get. If you just use straight up punches, that focus meter is gonna fill up really, really slowly. Okay, the Don should be safe now. I should head inside and check on them just in case. So yeah, the dawn should be safe and we're just gonna go take a look and make sure ourselves. Here we go. There's always an air vent around when you need one. okay. And ready to find a new hideout. Guys, we really need to rethink your security set up. Right. Because of the digging tank things. Obviously. Ah, those damn digging tank things. Crap. This did not go well. Yuri, he got away. With the Dons. What? Are you serious? The Sable tech he's been stealing? She had more in her arsenal than I thought. You told me you would take care of this. You told me not to worry. I did, yes, and I screwed up. I'm sorry. No more breaks. No more time off. I'm on this now. I'll call you when I've got a plan. Crap. Great work, Pete. Just great. And that was Last Stand. Hey, guys. No, not hey, Screwball. Hey. Really don't have time for this today, Screwball. There's always time for great. No, content, there isn't. Especially when it stars New York's favorite spider guy in a series of high stakes life or death challenges. Oh God damn it! Come on, you know you want to join the fun. Don't keep my audience waiting. Stupid Screwball. <laughs> 